We are live again. Sorry, we apologize for that. We are really interrupted by Facebook, or should I say the uh, Nigeria is the sister mobile network. We have to continue immediately to run up the interview with our immediate barrister, Saifa Yojoko. So we did ask barrister, please, uh, I asked you earlier on that uh, we can remember some time ago there was a victory bordering on um, illegal detention and uh, human rights on one of your clients, um, <coughs> Maze Bright Chimezia. And we remember you won that case and uh, the circuit conversation. And I wonder if I love the uh, correct with the figure about five million thereabouts was awarded to him. And ever since then, we want to know if that conversation was paid or the federal government appealed. That let me let me just say this to you. I was advised of my client to explain a lay foundation to the about the lay foundation to us answering the question before they went on of air. So what I actually want to say to the public at this point in time is simple. Uh, uh, before Thursday last week, that was on twenty seventh of um, October, two thousand twenty two, when judgment was delivered in the fundamentalized truth and fire on behalf of my late PA, Samuel Ozoko, so challenging the bloody invasion and, and the genocidal massacre and killing of my PA during the invasion. So the court ruled in our favor and granted all relief sought in the application on the merits and consequently directed the SSSDG, the two army staff, the Inspector General of Police to identify the corporate, the uh, personnel who were involved in these death valley acts and consequently and post code them, sanctioned them accordingly. The court also awarded, awarded the damages exemplary and, and the other damages of 155 million against the police. So that, in totality, for the past for the past consecutive for the past five years consecutively, I've been able to obtain damages against the police. The federal government, the SSS, in the total sum of 850 million altogether. Now, let me say this to you because I one day I will make sure that I I have strategies I adopt towards recovering that money, and they must pay all of them to the last word. In in the case of Bright Shimezia, you of course you know Bright Shimezia was arrested. That was 2007 or 17, shortly after. Uh, 17, 16, 17 years. So in 16 in Aquaibon. So when I heard about the arrest, I posted Aquaibon there so to file an application for his fundamental right enforcement. Of course, you know the style of these people, these marugas, we call them soulless animals. Once they arrest, they will, they will deny the person access to his relatives, legal representatives, and and friends, you will not know where they are. It happened to Chidebe Rongudi because I remember then too, I went to a uh, Porter Court in Water to, to search for him. I personally went to DS office in Porter Court. They denied access to him, they denied their knowledge of having him in their custody. So, in, in the case of Bright Shimezes uh, matter, I, when I got to Apaibon, I, I, nobody gave me information as to what about. That was 216, precisely, I'm, I'm correct about it. So I nobody gave information to his what about. I proceeded to file a court appointment to file an application for his fundamental enforcement to ensure that the, his produce are released. Then I serve on the DSS, have on the police. So uh, it was hard. And judge and his lordship honorable Justice Jomo Juku uh, delivered judgment in our favor and granted a, a, a compensatory damages of ten million against the SSS and directed them to immediately release Bright Shimese. Upon the grant of this application and orders issued by the courts directing the SS to release him and pay damages, I I was I got an information immediately after the government was delivered that Raji Mezze has been transferred to Abuja headquarters of the SS there. So and when we are at the verge of trying to uh, take further steps, legal steps to ensure it out, the file notes of appeal, which they've abandoned since 2016 to date. Uh, we have taken steps to ensure that it's been dismissed. I won't go into that. Now, so, but what I can assure you that uh, as of today, we have gotten over 800 million against the federal government. That should be a good money. 
So, and we're going to devise a very legal way of getting that money from them. And that money, that money must be paid to the letter. That I can assure you. We have a we have legal, uh, legal process towards uh, enforcing the payment of uh, judgment debt. So, and it's extant. I may not start discussing it here yeah, because it's a matter of common knowledge. But I can assure you, including Temple and I wanted to advise you, Messi, and others, others, we have them. So they must pay it. Because it's, it's one thing. Just like those are what happened in Mama, Mama Bia France case. She was arrested and detained, she was arrested and detained for a wide number of uh, moons and before he was released. The matter came up to that as well, because you may not know. And the, the attorney the court has been released. Granted, I have no problem that he was released. But there must be a consequences. There must be consequences for his for her illegal detention. For her illegal and unconstitutional detention, there must be consequences that occur. So we will go into that at the appropriate time. So uh, they will pay to the letter. They will pay every couple awarded against them by the court. They will pay it. And I have we have a way, we have a strategy, we have a legal permissible procedure towards recovering this money. That I can assure you. And we move. Thank you. Thank you very much, Director. <coughs> we are very grateful for welcoming us to your office and uh, allowing us to do this very interview. We assure you that our uh, people like that will always be here to deliver all the views that you mentioned to us uh, in regards to the report, bits and pieces uh, concerning our people who are facing what got uh, uh, prior or the other. And uh, we want to encourage you and your team to continue to fight the investigations and uh, uh, to continue with your fight against injustice and your labor to get uh, justice for those who are on the right thing. Thank you. So let me also, sorry, let me use the opportunity to make something clear. Because uh, if I, I cannot conclude this uh, discussion without, without mentioning the uh, highlighting or probably updating our people on the position of Fundam Bekanus matter before the Court of Appeal. So I know some people will be asking, how, how far is just for tell us what's happening in the Supreme Court? I can I know it's not take like I know people will be asking that question. So the 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 order or ruling of the Court of Appeal delivered last Friday has been appealed against to the Supreme Court. Thankfully, it's going to be had on the fast track rules of the Supreme Court. So, which counts, which is being counted in days, not weeks. So, it's an appeal against, by tomorrow, we'll make it public, our mutual appeal, challenging that um, ruling. So, I may not demonize them, uh, but I know that when we get to the Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court just will have a word for them. So, and that will be the appropriate forum or panel to have a word for what they did in that regard. Then, the, the, the also, the appeal they filed, has been set, the court has been settled and transmitted the court of appeal. We they have number they have less than few weeks, few days now to find some of the appellate brief because it's also being had under fast track rule too. And also to also use the opportunity to inform also Muchinek and the world that we're also cross appealing on some on some issues as contained judgments of the court of appeal. We're cross appealing on some issues that pertains to members of IPOB. So we are appealing on that issue to ensure that Supreme Court made a pronouncement one way or another on that aspect. So thank you, Mother. I believe this subject must have been served in, um, served in a good meal this evening. So as we progress, and be assured that I, I, we're not relenting. I thought was uh, we're not relenting uh, because today the laws and laws laws are with us. Law laws law is not a favor today uh, because the judgment of the court of appeal is very profound very firm and extant and very definitive that Namdekano must be released. And then Namdekano should not be subjected to any form of trial, prosecution or investigation by any court in Nigeria. And he has been discharged and acquitted. So the judgment of the Court of Appeal is very clear and extant. So no matter the way you go about it, it must be complied with. We are going back to the Supreme Court and also to the Austrian Court to direct the federal government to obey the order. That's the sense of appeal, appealing against the order for stay. Because it cannot stay the rights 
of citizens. The right of the freedom of citizens is extant and a right granted under Chapter 4 of the Constitution. It's not tenable in law. Other grants will not be discussed on this one. But when I made, when I make um, uh, a notice of appeal public, it's not like tomorrow, then the word you, you, you get the fair details. You have, you have the bits properly served through that process. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, my prayers to you people and Bright Chimese, Chile David Nabusi, and Benjamin Madbu. My prayers that God will find favor in their trip, grant their safe trip, and also protect them. And you, all of you that like, have tried ever to be here, you will get home safely. No evil will be for you people on your way back. So thank you so much for coming and remain blessed. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you.